exclusive entrance for the prince who believes he was born to be a boxing king. The general expectation is that Hamed may now only be a matter of months away from getting his shot at a world championship. And straight away, he gets in with a right hand. He's only ever had one first-round win in his career. Prince Nassim, six in the second round and four in the third. Unique style, blurring hand speed, punches coming in from angles you don't dream of. Angeli's very tall, very long. And a southpaw, the third southpaw opponent that Hamed has faced. He beat the other two in four rounds and two rounds, respectively, Des Gargano and Alan Lay. So it doesn't seem to be a problem fighting the uh, so-called wrong-uns. Well, Hamed said, don't blink, and you, you've got to expect him to start very fast. Usually, he spends the first round just feeling his opponent out, but he's going for it right from the word go here. But Angelis doesn't look phased at all and gets him with a couple of punches himself. We've never really seen what Nassim Hamed can do when he's under pressure or when he gets caught himself because he's usually so fast and elusive that nobody can ever really get to him. Angelis gets in with the left hand this time. He looks a rough, tough handful. They really do bring them up in a kind of spit and sawdust school in Mexico. Yes, they breed them tough over there, and you've got to respect anybody who's fought for Mexican titles. Anybody who can be the top of the tree out there has got to be good. Right hand crashing through on the left hook, too. Angeles looks as if he's easy enough to hit, and he's been hit plenty of times in this first round, too. Oh, and Hamed just losing his balance there for a moment. I don't think he was caught by a punch. No, but Hammond is really trying to get some power behind them punches. Watch that, says Larry O'Connell, punching after he'd said break. Stern warning, crowd didn't like it, but the referee imposing his authority early. Hammond is smiling now at Angeles, who has a fierce, stern look on his face. He's Taken a fair few punches already. As far as we can see, he's only ever been down once. That was in his Mexican title fight, and I think he's got a cut by the side of the left eye, Angeles. Yes, he's got a cut, and also there's some damage around the nose in. Big right hand, left, another right, cutting through Angeles, having to take punches coming from all sorts of angles. They didn't hear the bell at the end of that pretty explosive opening round. Angelis cut in the opening round by the side of the left eye. He came into this fight, as far as I could see, with some scar tissue. And he really felt the power of Prince Nassim in that opening round. But he stayed on his feet. He took those punches. But it was good to see Hamad getting past that long jab. He's leaping in. He's doing well to connect. He looks on unsteady legs, Angelis, at the moment. Big chance of Nassim, Nassim ringing around this arena. Oh, terrific right hand, and then a delayed action fall for Angelis. It seemed to take a while to take effect. It was the right hand, I'm sure, that did it. Angelis is down, he's looking at his corner. Is he going to beat the count? No, he's not. He's knocked out in the second round. There's the backflip. And Prince Nassim Hamed retains the WBC International Super Bantamweight Championship. And, well, there's no stopping him. There are not enough superlatives in the English, Yemeni, Japanese dictionaries to describe you as a boxer. I just don't know what to say. When I say I'm supreme, people just laugh. Now, what are you going to say when I become world champion? That was a beautiful workout. Oh, baby, I'm feeling so good. You talk us through it. Look at that. He's coming on strongly. I'm slipping. Oh, what a beautiful right hand. Check it out. I'm just slipping, rolling. There's, oh, there it is. It caught him. It was the right hand that done it.
He's got so much juice, and you've not seen any of it yet. I mean, it, there's so much in reserve. Nobody's put him under pressure. What's he going to be like then? He's the best fighter I've ever seen.